All right. Welcome back to Final Fantasy fourteen. All right, cool. It looks like uh, that weird lag that happened on New Vegas is totally gone. Hooray. I'm so glad. Now I have concern. As desktop audio is declaring that there's no audio. At least I'm recording. All right, desktop audio, uh, what seems to be your malfunction, default, Acer. As a quick check, uh, let me play a video I was watching earlier. No, okay, problem. Problem understood. Okay. Des I guess desktop audio isn't picking anything now. Uh... No. Nothing. Okay, cool. Not... None of the desktop audio is working. What? What the fuck? Okay. Oh. What is? What is this? The oh. temp rate just attacked him. Quartet is oh going. Stop, guys! What are you doing? If, if you're wondering, Protect watching them. Rage Gaming's <laughs> Generations Ultimate videos. He's digging. Look out! So you have to prove that you have legendary skills via killing Woo! this Diablos. All right. Hang on. How does that even sound? Break down! Oh no, Jim! Oh no! Jet break down! Oh no, Jim! That that's coming in very loud. Then again, their videos are very loud. Okay, that that's more reasonable. Let me hear that with my voice. Make a noise, make a noise. Okay. Yeah, this seems fine. Pray, gem pray was fine. But yeah, the, the rage pray. gaming is oh. really peaking it. Nope, gem pray down. Gem pray down. Are Diablos' eyes always purple? I don't think I've noticed them being purple. Okay. Alright, I have determined that desk audio is satisfactory. And as to why it stopped noise making. I, I, I have no fucking idea. But now I gotta fix desktop 2. Set it to my headphones for some reason. It's not the default... I don't know why. Okay, good. That is strange. Oh well, there we go. Everything is hopefully fixed. And I'm just gonna do this because I can. Oh, that's right, that was the last thing I did last time because I had a migraine. Which I woke up this morning with another migraine. Luckily, uh, first thing I did, basically, was consume ibuprofen to deal with that. And, uh, 
now I have no headache. Hooray. I'm just gonna wait till you finish talking. Also, after last stream, uh, I, I resent in the Butterfinger receipt and I did get the code. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. Being honest, I should have just assumed that, as that is my luck. I mean, of all the people on Earth, of course I'd be one of the few who do everything right and end up with no result. That's just how it goes. Hang out. Text from my mom. Ooh. Speaking of Ridge Gaming, they just posted top five layered armor sets for Rise. I cannot wait to look that over. And then be sad that a lot of the cool armor sets are female only. And if you try to replicate it on a male model, it's not as good. It just isn't as good. Like the, the bug armor. The, the, the female version gets butterfly wings. That's cool. What do we get? Weird antennas sticking out of our back. Like not even dragonfly wings or nothing. Uh, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I've, I wasn't paying attention to any of it. Um, pardon. Please help. I wasn't paying attention. Tell me what am I doing? That's not helpful. I was supposed to protect her, wasn't I? Yep. Oh, God damn it. Wait, what the fuck? Where did my move go? Where, where, what happened? Did I just, did I just drag it off?
Well, that's something I'm gonna have to solve, isn't it? All right, what the fuck did I do? Um... What did I do? Well, that's not a good start. I I need to find out where my attack went. Um No. Actions. Here we go. Whew. That was worrying. Alright. Ooh, there we go. Alright, bit of a rough start coming back, but I'm getting that. Award me armor. While I go into my counter and change the date for a doctor's appointment. So I don't forget, because boy howdy will I. Yes! That is what I wanted! Give it to me. Give me the thing. I wish for the shiny. Bring down the audio a little bit so it's hitting yellow every so often at normal volume. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go to C. This and we. Yeah, now we're talking. Look at that. Shiny. Very fancy. Brand new, brand new. All that's left is the belt that you can't see, so I don't even know if that will be replaced. And my hat. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. It will bring everything up to 11, but I'll lose one bite and one determination. 
Nah, I'll keep it. Alright. Pardon me a moment. I have to go up to the calendar. There we go. And she, uh. Wow, that's a hell of a jump from June to July. But whatever. And the time. And there we go. Oh, next week is Roscoe's birthday. I will have to be sure to pop into Animal Crossing. And yes, I did put all my villagers' birthdays in my calendar. Because otherwise, I would forget them. And I'm not a jerk. All right. What was I saying before a billion texts, doctor's appointments, and doing stuff? I was saying words. What words? I don't remember. Um. Oh, yeah, I got the chocobo code. So hooray for that. So now if I purchase the full game, I can use it. Or if I end up not, I can sell it, I think. Is that a thing you can do? I could probably find someone who'd want it. If I charge for it, I'd probably just want like five bucks. I don't know. Was, um, was that always there? I distinctly have no recollection of orange. Was That wasn't there. That's new. That's new, right? Yeah, I'm gonna pop, pop a lozenge just to get ahead of myself. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna get a scratchy throat. Might as well beat it to the punch and not get a scratchy throat to begin with. Whoa! What is that? We see that cool darkness bird. Dragon? No, it's a dragon. It's fucking cool, whatever it is. Alright. Let's check quests. Uh, grabbing crabs. Main quest, good to go. Uh, uh, right. We gotta ta talk to Quirt. T. Was that, was that a rocket powered mouse? What the? I, you know what? No, I'm going to ignore that one. Complete the travel guide. Uh. Where am I? Right, I came here for crabs. That's right. That's right, I came here to do the crab thing. I'm remembering now. Oh, it's right over here. Um. Yeah, hang on. What's the quest? Eating up my all the fish in my hole and da da da. Show him use the money. Hi da da. da. So, okay. I'm here. Oh, wait. No. I am at the crab spot. Or am I? No, I very much am. Where... Where's the crab? I'm, uh, am I blind? I'm not seeing no crabs. There's some lightning sprites. And what did it say when I clicked this? 
Your home planet is not set to the 8th rate in this area. You should return to your current home planet any time during the level quest. Okay. Okay. Ah! Once you've initiated a uh, display on the minimap, you can also be identified by distinguishing the icon above their names. Uh, there's a timer. Alright, got it. Yes. Oh, that's right. Pat talked about that. How, when you complete the quest, it'll give you the option to teleport right to the quest uh, person who gave it to you, save you time trying to find them or running to them again. When you initiate, you will be given the opportunity to adjust the difficulty, the greater difficulty, higher level, also a higher difficulty, better rewards. Reload at any time during the course of the duty. Uh, so it's best to start off at the maximum difficulty, and if it's too much, lower it bit by bit until it's within range of your skill set. Damn, look at that. Look at my bonus. I got more XP from the bonus than I did the quest itself. And then I got 69. <laughs> Streamlabs, my phone. All right. Plenty here rebuilding. Oh. And complete that, and even more. I got that thing. Cool. Okay. Uh, Mr. the guild highest have a word with uh, the should give details. Set her straight. Okay. Hey, final exercise. That's what I'm looking for. That will most likely award me the helmet. Since it's last one. Or so it's... Oh, this isn't the training area. Uh, pardon, explain what is happening. The final exercise. Alright. Yes, it is. I'm gonna do badly, I can tell you that. Keep the foe and watch your position. Yeah.
believe there was a setting to auto lock on new target when the one you are targeting dies. I think I might activate that. It would definitely speed up the process. Big um. I did it. I'm getting. I'm learning. I'm learning how to tank. Yes. I have done the duty. Give me the hat. That's. That's not a hat. Man, I wanted a cool helmet. Oh well. I got a ring. No. No, no. Yeah, let's see, what is this? What do you got? Uh, you do vitality plus one. Alright, yeah, we switch that out. There we go. Alright, cool. Hey, I completely... I did something for you, apparently. Uh huh. Well, it's a behest issued by the guild. Oh, guild hest, not heist. It's when a certain task brought to the attention of the guild is a little too grand for a levy, but not grand enough for a company involvement, they're deemed guild hests. Uh, duh, tasks are anything but simple. Tight quarters, require precision teamwork. I'm solo, so I'm probably not supposed to do those currently. Now that's a cool axe, and that's a cool helmet. Time fortune, presume. Uh. Yeah, give me that. Alright, duty by unlocking duty by undertake multiplayer duties. Oh, just quick ones. Press the U key to do it. Alright. Guild heists are special operations organized by Adventurers Guild and overseen by NPCs known as Battle Warden. Speaking with a Battle Warden displays a list of all guild hests. Currently available. Please note, however, that each operation can sit, can, has conditions such as level or class must be met by all party members before it can be commenced. At first, you might find only that a limited number of guild hests are accessible, but don't worry, as you progress in level, the number will grow. Give me access to by the duty finder, remove the hassle, trying to gather a party. So go in with randos rather than. Laster time trying to form a team with uh, people. Got it. All right. And I am 
in comparison to there. Where am I? Aha! I have found me. What the shit? What? Is that a giant moogle? I can only tell because it has a little, little dibbly-doo on its head. And it's all lit up? Does the moogle ball light up? I didn't know that. I had no idea the moogle ball lit up. Oh, that's adorable. They got a teeny tiny light on their head. How oh, cute. Man, if there's one thing I gotta say, it's the mounts in this look wild. Like, I remember my first time ever seeing an MMO. Who the, who the fuck wants to go? Who wants to go with this sick music? Eh? Hmm, eh? Who is it? Who's wanting to fight? Is it that one? Is it you? Oh, it's you. Oh, you wanna go. I can't turn something down when their music sounds that sick. I got soup or something. Or is that the name of the quest? I don't know. As I was saying before the cool plant decided to pick a fight, uh, the first time I ever saw an MMO was when uh, I was, I was like, I don't know, like fucking 12, 13. I was like middle school. And uh, my dad took me to New York to visit a friend of his where we stayed at his place. And uh, he was into... Uh, World of Warcraft. So the first MMO I ever saw was WoW. And it blew my mind. Like, I was just like, you can ride on a spider? That's fucking sick. I don't know why. It's like, you could ride on horses or birds or dragons. And I'm like, no, the spider, that's cool. try harder. Apparently I passive heal. And you are not strong enough to hurt me. Good try, though. Well, ever since, like, I liked the idea of the mounts, and that was what really stuck with me. So then years later, when I got a MacBook, I was like, you know, what? I'll, I'll give uh, World of Warcraft a try. Who knows? Maybe it'll be fun. And then I couldn't pick up sticks. The game the game told me, pick up the sticks. And I, I just fucking couldn't do it. I couldn't figure out how to do it. I literally, I could not figure out what the fuck I was doing wrong. Wait, there was a dragon? Uh-huh. Uh, oh man, which, uh, which pants do I pick? Oh, jeez. Uh, which ones sell for more? Those ones. Oh, Ella, you have a quest. Gimme, gimme. Uh, need help. Keep his fish fresh. You want me to get ice? Uh, 
Oh no, the the fuzzy blue balls. Them's those guys. Wow, oh, they're ice or water or close enough. But so for me, like one of the most interesting aspects of an MMO is the mount system of just a thing you can ride. That is probably silly in some way. Which one of these was the long distance? There's one of these that... Hmm. I could have sworn one of these attacked in like a cone in front of me. Maybe I'm misremembering. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah come on. I'm gonna smash the water out of you. So needless to say, like, all the weird and wacky mounts I've been seeing in this really piqued my interest, even though most of them are probably, they're probably, uh, FOMO mounts, so there's probably no way for me to ever get even half of them. But that weird tiny poop chocobo that you get for the Butterfinger, I could get. So that's cool. Because from what, I, what I've seen in the promotions and stuff, like, they have a Lollafell sitting on it. And this is a Lollafell, so I can't imagine what it would look like if my guy sat on it. It'd probably be very stupid. And that's what I like. It's a useful book. Uh, birds stealing stuff. Uh, da -da -da. Meat is tasty. Can't really blame them. Oh, they'll definitely like that. Alright, cool. I'll grab yours while I'm at it. Alright. A corn monster? Aren't you lucky? I'm American. I eat only corn because all our food has corn in it. That's what I learned. Da -da -da. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep after all. I don't know what's in the corn. map. Alright, that's just right up here. Man, I've been feeling good lately, and I think it has to do with the fact that I've been very much properly hydrating, thanks to my gallon jug of water. Oh no, birds. Oh dear. Oh, it does have an auto lock. Okay, it already does. Just smash it. Just do, do, do the non. Because in the past, like, I would drink it sparringly, 
because it was always a pain to have to refill a two liter soda bottle from a sink because you'd have to f I'd have to fill up one of the glasses I keep next to the sink for water and then carefully pour that into the bottle because my sink is not very deep there's no way it can fit that whole two liter in and that would take like a good like two three minutes and was just tedious and don't get me wrong I still have to dump the water in using that glass cuz it can't fit the gallon jug either however the big big difference is the uh, mouth of the container isn't a teeny tiny bottleneck it's a massive hole so I can just fill the I, it's like a beaker bottle that I got at uh, a thrift store I thought it looked cool so I use it as a water glass so basically, I just fill that up, and I just turn it upside down and leave it on top of the uh, gallon jug, and it just empties into it, and I do that a couple of times. Instead of having to manually hold it and slowly pour it in, otherwise it spills everywhere. Oh, is that the thing? No, that's a jackal. Excuse me, you're in the way. all time together and these all have to do with anonymity and draw an aggro all right lock that back up now what's up with this corn? Corn beast. Um, really? Really, really he went he went screaming because of some slugs. Really now. That's And where am I delivering this? Oh, back up there. Alright. Back up I go. To what I think is a tiny fishing village? I'm not sure. Wait a minute. What did that video say? Oh, E3's coming up. Oh, yeah! E3 is a thing. I think? Is it still? I thought it died, like everything else during 2020. Where it's like, oh, you can't show up in person. We'll do it all online. And then everyone realized, oh, no one actually cares. Like the Oscars. That was hilarious. Where almost no one gave a shit. Oh, that was beautiful. Like, I, th I, th I definitely think Pat said it best. Just, like, everything he said about how fucking hilarious it was that no one gave a shit about the Oscars. I wholeheartedly agree. I was laughing my ass off when I learned that. Hello, farm man. I have corn for you. Please cook it, and I want to put butter on it. Because it is delicious.
Like, no joke, I love corn. Corn is so fucking tasty. Who sells for more? You. Oh, give me a new one. Like, um... How long ago was it? I, it was at either a week? It was somewhere between one to three weeks ago. Maybe a month? It might have been a month. I'm not sure. Time is still beyond nonsense to me. Probably always will be. But, uh, we got some ribs. And, uh, you could get, a uh, corn on the cob with it. And I did. And then I ate it. And... I had forgotten how good corn on the cob was. Because I kind of just... You know that thing in the cartoon where it's it's basically like a typewriter? I don't eat my corn like that. I eat it... I don't eat it uh, horizontally. I eat it vertically, spin it around, and then move to the right. Basically, that's how I ate it at uh, rapid speeds. Because I forgot how fucking good it was. Like, even I was surprised at how fast I was consuming it. Because how I was eating it is, with, with each bite I took, it pushed the corn down, letting me to more corn. It, it might have been, might as well have been a manual version of that. Uh, was it a vine or a meme? Um, I am sorry, sir. I did not want to hit you. I just wanted access to the thing you're sitting on. Oh everyone, everyone seems to be upset. Oh, this is the one. Are they just spitting at me? That wasn't one of the nests, was it? Yes! I did it. I completed the fate. Apparently. I didn't well I didn't know I was you know, god damn it. That's not what I was gonna do. Well, I best be careful, I don't wanna hurt Mr. Crab. He's adorable. Also level fifty. So he could definitely kick my ass. But I'm sure uh, someone's had that experience where it's like been a couple years since you've had like a food you always ate when you were younger. And you remember it being good. And then you get it again and you realize you forgot just how good. That was the cool. Because it, it had been so long since we had had corn, we had actually thrown out our corn holders. Like little little uh, things with the needles on the end that you stick into the corn to hold it. We'd actually gotten rid of them because we hadn't had corn. Because to be fair, corn, corn is a pain to make. Especially if it's fresh, because then you got to shuck it. And then you gotta make sure none of the stringy bits are left on, because those are the worst. Then boil it, and it's it's a whole mess. Alrighty, gotta report this. 
ignore the chest pain. I was about to say, who's that NPC standing next to him? And it was the player. Did exceptionally well. Ah, yeah, I totally did that on purpose. There are more docile behavior. It's imperative that I remove the gland that produces infamous poisoning breath. What? They have poison breath? Did it take a step closer? Alright. You know what? That shouldn't really be that surprising. Because uh, the other day I actually learned that the joke that JonTron made in the Birdemic review about Bird Acid, apparently Bird Acid is real. Like, it, it's Bird, Bird do spit acid. Apparently vultures spit acid. Not like, not like a video game or anime amount of acid but like enough to be annoying and hurt you like it wouldn't melt your arm off but it would burn you a bit hey they're fishing they got lights go away so I was definitely shocked when I learned that from Tier Zoo. Par pardon me, Mr. Spoonbill? Mr. Spoonbill. I need you to bu buzz off. I'm calling it a Spoonbill because the beak looks kind of Spoonbillish. Me furnace. Oh, one of them little fireballs. I always forget they're called bombs. Um, alrighty. I know where that is. That's the, uh, that's with all the dodos. Yeah, right over there. I'm ignoring you. I don't want to fight you, you weird little bird. <laughs> I don't like the Brazier. It's a super mode. There's no super around here. 
least I don't think there is. No. Oh, well. Maybe there's some form of sewer. I'm not an expert on infrastructure. Alrighty. Did that thing even have claws? I wonder what that weird light around that person is. No. Yeah, well. No, I'm not fighting you. I'm leaving. Well, good day, sir. Alright, we're back at town. I have just noticed they have street lamps. Fancy. I have done that which you asked. Now I must go all the way there, wherever that is. I assume it's to that gazebo in the distance. Oh, my puppy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just in the middle of this here field. What am I, what am I looking for? It's back. It's back in town. I see. Somehow the fate encounter had become the main marked quest. That shouldn't have been. <sighs> I, I probably should mention, if anyone was wondering why I was watching Rage Gaming, it is because I have uh, been playing a hell of a lot of Rise, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a break so I don't get burned out, and uh, go back and play, that's the one I want. Uh, that tiny weird plant the Marlboro cigarette plant take a break from it and uh, play some Generations Ultimate because I never really did much in Generations Ultimate for uh, the simple reason that I uh world was out and when Generations Ultimate came out, I bought it and was like, oh, hell yeah, let's do this. And I went in and just having played World for so long at that point, going back to 
Generations Ultimate was a bit of a stretch, seeing as how I hadn't really played any Monster Hunter. Like, I, like me and my friend played Generations uh, Original, and we beat it. And then I played it for a while on my own. Made Dread King armor. And then I accidentally kind of made myself never want to play again. Through my own stupidity. Let me get this helmet first. Yeah, that one. So what happened was this. I was... I wanted to upgrade the Dread King armor to maximum. Because... Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Because at maximum, uh, you get the skill Tremor and Wind Resist up. Or maximum or something, I think. And I'm down for those. I hate Wind and Tremors. They're annoying as hell. But, uh... I looked online, and I was like... What do I need to get there? Because you need tickets. How many of each? And I don't remember if the video was wrong, or I just took in the information wrong. But basically what happened was I interpreted what I needed was... Uh, you, need f you needed five level two tickets for each... You needed a uh, one level two ticket for each rank for each piece. So I did the math and you can upgrade them five times. So I'm like, I'll need 25 level two tickets. And looking back on it, I don't know how or why it was so annoying. Because ideally you, you definitely want to cap it even in a hunt quest. Because one, more items and two... Good God, no. Like, just capping it and just a quest faster, so less risk of death. More items. But, uh, I then went and proceeded to do the level 2 quest 25 times. Completely unnecessarily. Needless to say, I was very just dead inside because it had it had not been easy i can't tell you the number of times forget the quest failing because people died that hardly ever happened no it was because someone got overzealous and accidentally killed the rathalos I, I have had, I have just had a realization. Hang on, hang on a minute. Uh, when is E3? This year? Saturday, June 12th to the 15th. Okay. So. Uh. Hang on a second. What, what is everyone streaming today then? What is currently being streamed? Summer Games Fest. Well, how long has Summer's Games Fest been going on?
how long has this been going? Well, uh, that's unfortunate for me. If I had known that, I would have streamed that instead. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? Wait, is that metal? Is that a new metal slug? Oh, tactics. Oh. How long has this been going on? Oh, it's been going on for eight minutes. Uh... Hmm. Is anyone even watching this? Uh... Apparently the year 2020 is watching us. Interesting. I will stream E3, though, now that I am aware. But I'll catch the Summer's Game Fest afterwards. Uh, let me find out what time E3 is at this year. Set a reminder. It is at 8 a.m. Saturday. I won't be watching the Microsoft one because I don't have an Xbox, so it means nothing for me. Uh, yes, Google, thank you. It's June 12th. I'm aware. What time? Uh, there we go. 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay. No, that's my calculator. I want my calendar. Where are we at? June 12th. Uh, start. At. Alright, there we go. Now I will get a reminder to remind me that Saturday I should stream E3 instead of game. Uh, yeah, missive. Here is your mail, sir. Oh, oh cutscene. Oh, fancy smancy. Another delay. Well, that sucks. I am much taller than him. Yes. Here is my name. I like your hammer. Oh, you're building a boat. That's what you need them for. Restore the fleet to glory. More than a simple warship. Uh, rebirth from the wreckage. Thus, we strive to complete the construction as swiftly as possible. Even going so far as to hire shipwrights from outside the that word. Yeah, with unprecedented men, there's never enough hands. Should you choose for time, there's no end for odd jobs. There's no place for layabouts and troublemakers. Those ones. And speaking of odd jobs, give me an odd job. We're in seven houses of man, twelve moons have been late. Young man named that recently. 
Left the candle keep to retrieve supplies. Yet to return. So, supplies are the seeds aren't costing the right. No supplies you're scheduled to collect. Ooh. Understood. Find this guy and use the doubt emote. Have no fear. I can do that. Hey, you know what? I may not be uh, streaming the games, come on, the games, summer games, whatever. But I can have it on next to me, and if anything is interesting, I'll mention it. But I have just heard the word Metal Gear Death Stranding. Is that? No. Wait. Wait, what? Oranges in a cardboard box. No. What? No. Wait. No. What? No. That. You. What? No. Oh my god. He... He's in the box. What is... What is this? What am I looking at? I didn't think Kojima could do Metal Gear stuff. Because... Oh, no, the box is going back up on the shelf. And the oranges are left on the floor. Yeah, it's Death Stranding, but what's it have? Oh, Death Stranding Director's Cut. Wait. Wait, how do you have a Director's Cut for a game? Only on PS5. That means I can't play it. Is this? What in the fuck is... What is... This? What the fuck is this? Has this always been here? I... I feel like I would remember that. I really feel like I would remember that. No, I wasn't here. I've been here before. Concerned about that now. Is that Jeff Goldblum? That's Jeff Goldblum. Man, anyone watching this event, what the hell is happening? This is fucking weird. That's right. Good mind way of now. Alright. Nice friends list. Strong one. There we go. General. Duh, duh. I don't believe you. Tell me what you know. That's right. Alright, give me what? 224, 280. Alright, now you give me your quest. I'll take it. That's uh Is that a dinosaur? No. Oh! No, it is a dinosaur. Hang on. That's why Jeff Goldblum was there. Dinosaurs. It all makes sense. Kinda, sorta, maybe. Okay, what... What Jurassic Park game are they making now? Will I care? 
<coughs> it seems to be Jurassic World because it has the broken uh, aviary. Oh wow, I found him. Oh, Evolution 2, it's isn't that the mobile game? Uh four minutes wondering whereabouts. Two nights ago I made the trip. Just as the foreman asked. The that's a cool chocobo. Seas were right rough. The cabin cargo ship was bringing close. By the time we was halfway to shore. The high rise. Nigh. Tries met the boat naturally lost. Flung it. When awake, I awoke. Both ships were gone. Cargo lay strewn across the beach. Beach was crawling with. with oh, that word. Ain't got a sword. I have a. I have an axe. All right. Wait. Look at this wheel. What are they showing now? Ah, that oh, small blue thing. Is, is, what, is that Journey? What the fuck? Am I looking at Journey? Is this a sequel to Journey? No, that can't be right. Question. These don't... Seem like what the fuck? These don't seem like random monsters. They they kind of they're just chatting. All right, whatever games they're showing right now is like, fucking weird. Singing something. You know what? I wonder. Oh, please go away. I've just had an idea I would like to try out. This is just going to be temporary. Do.
All right. So this is this is my idea. Uh, enlarge that. Open this. Open YouTube. No, that sounds that sounds copyrighted as hell. Alright, just wanna make sure it's going good. That's a cool dragon. Alright. Okay, it is. It's uh is currently playing. All right, neat. Oh, hang on. I'm sorry. Were you trying to hurt me? I'm sorry. I wasn't working for you. Sir, I have a text I must answer. Please stay down. Thank you. All right, gaming Amazon, tell me what what can I expect from you? New content, okay. League of Legends, Apex, sure. Of course, I come in right as it's the boring part. Oh, I did get Battlefield Four from them. That is true. And I was tossed into sea like some ragdoll. It weren't long before the world around me faced, faded to black, slipped into the abyss, washed ashore, waiting for the chance to salvage the cargo. There you go. If, if something interesting comes on, I'll unmute. But for right now, it's literally just what's going on? Anything interesting? Deliver supplies right away. Stop by the quarry. Oh, wait a minute. I just had a thought. Capture a specific window. Window capture. There we go.
But I'm trying to figure this out. I just want to be able to kick, keep an eye on OBS. Well, that's interesting. And there we go. It might not be full screen, but... So, I can now view it. And if anything interesting happens, I will turn on the volume. Will making a smaller effect be... Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Okay, there we go. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about currently, and oh, Warzone stuff. As I don't play Warzone, it is irrelevant to me. And the only thing covered is my uh, actions bars, so. That was a horse. There is only a Chocobo, so. Hmm. Strange. Oh, hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. Why is he here? Not that he's not a great guy. I just find it weird how the, how companies still think, how do we sell video games to famous people? I still don't why, understand why they think that would affect us at all. Like, do they not know the video game community is one of the most cynic communities there is? Like, being like, look, the famous person would probably make us want it less. I know there have definitely been cases where it's, you're trying a bit too hard. Oh, wait, nor is this that movie where he's an NPC. Uh, did that ever come out? Was that on a streaming service, or what was up with that? Because that was funny. I, I really liked the idea of it, and I wanted to see it. Take a look at that. Oh, never mind. Ninja was in it. Zero out of ten. Quality has just gone down. Oh, never mind. Sean was in it. Put it back up to a five. That didn't come out yet? I could have sworn that came out. When was that for shown? Oh, that must have been long before the world ended, wasn't it? 224, 224. Oh, samey, samey. Oh, right, yeah. This one actually is good, and I do want it. You can get a baby gremlin. What? 
Wait, what? Wait, hold on. There's there's rolls. That color was just banana. What? Oh damn. <laughs> this is all they would let. Okay. Damn. That looked like some interesting stuff they were adding. I know, I know the whole meme of Mookus, 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 and stuff, but it's it's really fun. Like it, it's a fun game. I can't deny that. Uh, what do we get? A. A, a this thing. Is that that's a book? That's a knife. That's money. All right. Uh. Wait, wait, wait! You still don't like? When did we get off the wrong foot, me and him? I don't remember getting off on the wrong foot. I remember helping him out, and then... Helping him out. I don't remember doing anything to get on his bad side. And, and... Since the Death Stranding thing, and the, uh... What looked like... Journey... <laughs> there hasn't really been anything that uh has caused too great a desire to unmute. Cause like I can I can figure this out. It's, it's a painting game that looks fun. Don't really need to be told. I can I can have eyes. But I'm I'm waiting for the crazy stuff, though I feel like I might have missed it. Which would be unfortunate. Alright. Oh. It's in town. Oh, that was stupid. It's right up by the teleporty crystal. Yeah, there. Oh, I know what that is. That's that, uh... Wait, no, I don't know what this is. Hold on. Wait a minute. I recognize that art. Is this Salt and Sanctuary? Always. I was... It... it well, it's from them, at least. Chance. I spoke the words. It looks much more improved. Insult and Sanctuary. I drank the mage bait. I never really got too far in it, but Salt Sanctuary was an interesting game. I live now only to hunt mages. The, the bosses were a bit could be a bit bullshit at times. But um like one boss I had a particular hard time with was the fire drake. I am a marked inquisitor. Although uh, many of us. But together, it was an interesting uh, chain of events that led to me winning the fight. I had I looked up like some tips on it, and someone had encountered a glitch where the dragon just died off screen. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going at it. I'm just gonna keep trying. I've died like five times. I'm gonna keep going. And then I kept going, and then on that new, like, I'm gonna do this till I get it through it, try, you, and it that's not died off screen because of a glitch. With you a brand new trailer from the upcoming Annapurna and Heart Machine game, Solar Ash, which is coming to PlayStation later this year. I've never heard of this. I'm just gonna mute it. If it looks interesting, I'll unmute it. Okay, it looks interesting. Tell me more.
Oke. Okay. Well, that thing's freaky. What is what is this gameplay? My my brain's telling me like Fury plus Shadow of the Colossus in terms of visuals right now, and I can't say it's wrong. All right, that didn't tell me a lot, but uh, that looks visually so it looks cool. Now this week there is a ton of video game news, but there's also a big game launching across console and PC, Chivalry 2, which brings 64 player multiplayer medieval battles. All right, we don't need to hear him talk about Chivalry 2. We know what's up. And play Doom on a uh, loot. Try to be gone with the pirate. I can't believe they'd let you fight a firefly. That seems like bullying. Never have I looked at a firefly and gone, ah, yes, a worthy foe. I will say. Wait. No, I was thinking of Mordhau, not chivalry. Oh. Wait. Which one was chivalry? There's three. Chivalry. Oh, I remember which one Chivalry was now. Wow, it's looking really good compared to the first one. Like, really good. Aw, oh, damn, they got a pit. Nice. Yeah, give me that. Strength plus two. All right. Oh, and it's got cool little designs on it. Fun. Oh, and now you are the main quest person. I will accept. Oh, they're going after the big warship you're building. Alright, I get it. This world premiere. Okay, hang on. That looks cool. What is this robot? Oh, it's just Valorant. I told you, very, very quick. And it was like two seconds. Careful, that's dangerous. Oh, is this, um... Oh, what is it? Parkour zombie game? No, oh, that, that seems like too big gun for parkour zombie game. Also, it looks multiplayer. Which is definitely not parkour zombie game. At least I don't think that was multiplayer. Dying Light, that's what it was called. I don't think this is Dying Light, but I'm convinced that it's zombie. I mean, I mean, look at it. How could it not be a zombie game? Like, what else? What else could it possibly be? Oh, no, never mind. There's uh, the other people have guns. Not a zombie game. Just a shooter. God knows. The fucking Zapdos? Alright. Yeah, that looked like Zapdos. 
There it goes. Why? Why did it just say God's grip? Okay. Sure. Oh, I see up top of the hill. There we go. I'm ignoring you. Aha! You there. Sketchy man. Are you doing anything illegal? For escape. Is that the name of the game? Oh, he's running away. Oh, I can't believe the nerf. He bolted. Go away, I do not care. Ow, my bones are all broken. Is, is this the Sims? What the? Wait, what the fuck is this? Of nights, jousting? Well, I can't say I remember that part, though it wasn't like this in my day. You see, campuses are forever changing. Nowadays, education has to be fun. It can't be all work and no play, and quite right, too. Frankly, the results speak for themselves. Academia has never been more appealing. More dynamic, more whatever this is. That's a yeah. What whatever this? Is what is this game? And a place to learn, finely crafted by the sharpest minds that money can buy. Though sometimes you still can't get the stuff. Yes, these days it really does feel as though anything is possible. This isn't The Sims, is it? No, that's The Sims, all right. They got a new art style, apparently. That I don't know why, but it's making me feel reminiscent of Jimmy Neutron. Two Point Campus. Class is in session 2022. Oh, no. It's not The Sims. Something totally new. Just has Sims mechanics. Oh no, the boats? Alright, let's get them. Don't worry, I can take them all. I beat up a bird once. Gotta run it. Oh, nope. Whoopsie. Oh, who's doing that? You? I'm gonna need you to sit down, sir. Oh, who's doing that now? Oh, hello. Oh, I unlocked something. Oh, that's good.
Oh, is that Dead by Daylight? Or is it just straight Stranger Things? Oh no, it's Smite. Okay, I see. Oh no, the guy got beat up by the pirate. Oh my, oh no, I just noticed his name. That man. Oh, family drama, I see. We're not going to let you take that boat. This is showing a whole bunch of games. I'm assuming the event is ending. Excuse me, sir. I would like your attention. are gone. A victory. Or maybe it's not ending. Maybe that was just a, a lightning round. Oh, well, hang on. Leo! This looks interesting. Is his dad having a change of heart? This is a wacky looking game. What in the world? Heavy. Really? We call them tanks. 
I call them brutes. From Latin, brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Dion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? No, uh, I'm good. Brutes! Okay, that was pretty. That was pretty funny. Just going through all the typical naming conventions for big, tough, like awesome. the tank enemy, i.e., tank from Left 4 Dead type. Oh, hey, New World. I played a bit of that. It's free on PS Plus. It was interesting. It was strange though. The combat was odd. All right, back to the red hat lady. Is it an update for New World? Because I, I feel like that's a game that wouldn't get a sequel, but more an update. Or who knows, maybe they did make a sequel. That thing looked cool. Is that a, is that a thing you can play as? I like games where you get to be the big scary monster. Because they look cool. Like the zombie mode in Left 4 Dead multiplayer where you get to be the zombie. That was cool. I like that mode. Oh. Just stretching real quick. Complete. And another one right away. Entrust me with an important task. Oh my god. I was about to say, that's a weird giant ball. Then I realized, oh, it's Rocket League. Wait. No. N no. Okay. It's just it is just a Fast and Furious crossover. I was like, they're not doing a battle royale, are they? That would be nuts. Wow, they, I think they purposely made like the tiniest level fell they could. They're almost the same height as the pet. Uh, all right, that takes me back to the drowning wench. Yep, heading on back. Oh, oh, Until now. I know what this is, I'm pretty sure. Or, wait, nope, never mind. I thought it was Vampire the Masquerade for a second, but no, it's, it's something else. Oh wow, it's all foggy. What time is it in game? 6 a.m. Yeah, it's about the time fog rolls in if you're near the ocean. I live near the ocean, I would know. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the stairs. So, what, what is it, a vampire 3v3? Interesting. Wait, ah. That's it. 
There we go. Oh, hey, it's the next one. It's the next story. Oh, boy. Oh, this I'm interested in. It's slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. That looked like a monster. What I strongly suspect where chemical weapons are hidden, so we need to move fast. That's right. That's right. The, the sneak peek when you beat the previous story shows them clearly encountering something non-human. I, I don't play it myself, but I watch uh, Matt McMuscles and Scary Game Squad play it on their channels. Because it's very interesting to see the different little choices they make that change the story every little bit. Did he just fall into a big mouth? Guiding you through the unknown. Mont yeah! Whatever that thing is. Ooh! Oh, that guy is coated in blood. Look out for what? Oh! Yes. Oh yes. Yes. Oh, it hunts by echolocation. It can't see. It's completely blind. Hell yes. Oh fuck yeah. In the darkness. Forever. Yo. Oh, I'm down for that. Oh! It's totally blind. Its eyes don't have any eyeball in them. Yo! Oh my god, Pazuzu! I was so hoping they'd show it. Oh, that thing looks cool. It's clearly, like, a, a horribly... hyper-evolved mutated bat-type creature. I mean, it's nothing new to find in a horror movie cave, but it's always cool. Especially with the tiny differences you make in the design. That was a lot of blood. Who's this spooky man? Is this Tales of Symphonia? That, I, that guy's armor is cool. I like it. What is this anime get? Wait. No. No, for a minute I'm like, is that fate? And it's like, no. Uh... Message deciphered, trouble brewing, get ready for action. I'm always ready. Oh, hang on, that looks like it's character action. Tales of Arise. Oh, it's the Tales series. Okay, so my first guess was right. Was it Le Petit Prince? For Summer Game Fest, we have a special announcement for you. That the console version of Sky Children of the Light would arrive to Nintendo. Oh, snap. Alright.
Okay, now this looks like Journey too. But more so. Back when I was younger, our name is Cell Sword. Truth be told, the script was only too bloody familiar. Sagan letters. Alright. Oh shit, they're gonna blow up the victory. Looks like they're meant to erase eight kinds of L. Maelstrom, point being the attack on the victory, weren't the act of fear Bell's pirates. It's the key part of a plan. That thing is adorable. It's all right, the attacks, I uh, wager they panicked when they saw you was onto them. All right, cool, I threw their plans into disarray. Oh, them, the tattoo people. I recall now. Oh shit, that was a distraction. Oh fuck, that's not good. And neither is what appears to be falling from the sky in the stream. That definitely doesn't look good. Okay, this one. This one's peeking there. Let's let's take a look. Alright, so you think they're out to kidnap some wait, hand paint no. No, this this isn't some cuphead shit where you actually painted this and made it animate, right? Whoa. That looks cool, and I'm liking this music. Alright, the mess. Well, that's ominous. Take it to Commander Ray at the Coral Tower and tell him he's in for a busy day. Oh, not till next year. Oh, but you can wish list it now. That's cool. Oh, and I can't get it on a console. I can only PC game it. What? Well, someone wants some help? Who is it? Where are you? Oh, there must be a floor down. Now oh, the stairs are over here. Oh shit, Overwatch 2. Just coming to Overwatch 2. Uh, what can you tell us? What's the latest? Yeah. So we recently Wh announced What happened? Overwatch 2's format is changing to a 5v5 team format. This requires a fresh look at all of our heroes in the game. It should feel new yet so oh. familiar to fans of our strategic team based I, comics. I thought it was going to yeah, be uh, it was great to see you guys PvE and, not uh, PvP. You know, long awaited for people to get a chance to go hands on with it. Um, and today I know you brought us a look at uh, some skins for some of the uh, some of the characters, right? Oh yeah, fuck the yes. Team is so passionate about updating the look and the feel of the world of Overwatch. And one aspect of that is creating entirely new models for Overwatch 2 for all of our heroes. Hmm. So today we're going to be looking at two of those, uh, Baptiste and Sombra. All right, well, we'll oh, come on. Tell us a bit about two people I don't I play? Two. So okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so this is Baptiste. Um, and there's a lot of new technology that go into our models. Uh, we have new share hater or <laughs> hair shader tech, excuse me. The hair um, does look to, very nice. Get the look I did that notice we're going that. For with his haircut. He also has a glowing cape and gloves. Like that it kind looks of, fucking great. Um, give that medic or surgeon vibe. Where, uh, where's the cape? Do you see a cape? I don't see a cape. Uh, Thank you. And uh, are we gonna Sombra, I think, right? Yep. So next up is Sombra. Oh this my god, her hair looks look fantastic. There's, it's an asymmetrical design. There's so many layers of hair and clothing and yes. technology in this. I'm if liking. You, closely, you can actually see circuitry and nodes embedded in her clothing. She's a world. I'm class liking this. Hacker, so it all makes sense. This is clearly no, again, raised. So, so and I'm liking the the cords in her hair. That's the fun. First game up 
updated for Overwatch 2, and we can't wait oh. to see uh, more on the game. We appreciate oh, it. I see. I was, I was a dummy. Here, and I'm sure there'll be more later this year on Overwatch 2. You bet. Thank you. Awesome. That, right, thanks very oh, much. Oh, that was it? Uh, now, recently, I had a chance to play Dungeons oh. & Dragons Dark Alliance with the game developer Jeff Haddam, Hannibal Burris, and Ember Moon from the WWE. That's right. You didn't expect me to say that. But this game is a ton of fun, and it's coming to Game Pass on June 22nd. Take a look. Okay, you got me with Hannibal yes. Buress. And today, as part of Summer Game Fest, we are going hands on with a game that is coming out in just a couple of weeks. It is Dark Alliance, and we've got Jeff, one of the game developers from 2K, Jeff, special guest, Hannibal yeah. Buress, and Ember Moon. Okay, okay, uh, that looks like what Trap. Oh, that looks like <laughs> Trap. Oh, 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 oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. Traps. Ow. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no, you I got it. A warrior's death if I died again. I'm gonna get you. Hey, hey, oh. hey. Oh, shit, it's Roadhog. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty cool. But how Dungeons and Dragons y is it? That's my question. Oh, hey. Ooh. Yes. Uh, yeah, I remember that, kid. What about him? Oh, that's a bunch of heads. Oh, the chef. If you run into a villain called the chef, it's he, he's never cooking good things. He's never baking cakes. It's He's always cooking people. And he always finds a way to make it super the worst. Oh! Oh, hang on a second.
All right, sorry about that. I had just received a phone call. But, um, so, Monster Hunter Stories, looking good. I didn't really get to pay attention during any of that because of the phone call, but... Uh, when does this end? I actually wonder. So, sorry, sorry about that, uh, moment of absence. I should have turned on the sound, so there was at least something. Now, what is this? Was that W? D Wait, no, the band of Weezer. Okay, you're gonna have to explain what what does this have to do with the video game? Okay, now you're gonna have to s explain a bit more. That I I don't understand. Also, I'm not unmuting this because this is definitely copyrighted. Oh, I see. It's like a. Boat trick game. Was that a gun? That looked like that guy got shot midair. Yeah, I got a message. Uh, pirates are doing clever trick ruses. You gotta be on guard. Yeah, that's a health bar. No, no, that's a trick score. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, get everyone ready for fighting. It, uh, that word that I can't even say. Good. Uh, oh, they're launching an assault. Alright. I can go help for sure. Yeah, it might be an... Oh, fuck. Uh, I hate it when it's like, is this a faint or is this the faint? It's fucking annoying. Yeah, I'll definitely help. I just need to fix my chair. <sighs> there we go. I want to do that first, get a better helmet. And I think the this might be the last thing I do for the day because I'm getting around the time that I have for uh, stopping the stream. Booking it. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, I don't mean to interrupt your lunch. Yeah, I'm here to discuss the kid. And no. Oh, I I don't think. No, oh my. That's far away. Oh, what's in this dungeon? That certainly sounds interesting. from Sega, unless this is something entirely different. Oh my god, what are those Samus shoulder pads? Okay, I'm in or die. Okay, oh. I'm intrigued now. Option B, then. Rule number two, use turrets 
to protect that unstable dust bomb we call the crystal. Okay. Because it's their catnip. And if it goes, you go. Uh oh. Yep. Just like that. Is that a cyberspace plague, Doctor? Watch your squad. Even if you've got the guns, the turrets, and the crystal, you can't do everything by yourself. If you fight alone, you die alone. I like that robot. Uh, together again. And rule number Wait, four. are they all robots? I well, thought that was a mask, but now I'm noticing the robot that eyes. Way, but you still can't win. Are those giant space rats? What is what is this? Tag team. I'm in. Okay, that looks interesting. What are you guys doing tonight? If you're lucky enough to have a PS5, you're probably getting ready to play Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I don't, I've been I don't have one of those. A ton of fun. Well, later today, the team they cost a billion dollars. A I don't have money. On Twitch to tell us more, take it away, Marcus and Mike. Hey Jeff and everybody watching Summer Games Fest. Kick I don't care. I don't have a PS5, and therefore I'm spiteful. Wah. <laughs> I, plus, I still have to beat the first game. So I gotta say, as someone who never played Ratchet and Clank in the old days, but had a, a cousin who had a PS2 and watched them play it, I gotta say, like, the the game based off the movie, like it's like it felt really good. It felt like a platformer. Which is more than you can say a lot about modern platformers. It felt- it just felt good. No. Oh, in. There we are. Uh-huh. Oh, he went to go beat up the goddamn thing. I guess I'll go beat it up. Yep. Oh lord. It's a good thing I've been there. I think. It depends when I get there where I am. Oh, it's the farm. Oh. Yeah, I've, I've definitely been here. I see. Oh, that doesn't look good. There's some weird father-son military stuff going on. No, I'm not beating up the Rajang again. They don't care. What have we here? Oh, I see. Oh, is it post-apocalyptic or something? Boy by himself. Yep, yep.
Yeah, okay, so that's a thing you cast. Oh, a satchel. That's not good. That is a bad sign. Oh, no, nah, angry birds. They're not the fun kind, you throw at pigs. Oh my, that's hitting him. Apparently, that's impressive. There it is. What the fuck is that? It's a thing that the, the electronic mouse or whatever I saw earlier. Another world premiere. Oh. Uh, Fall Guys 2B skin. I certainly did not see that coming. Wow. Oh, Genshin Impact. And he has one more bit right up here, or maybe it'll be him himself, or this person covered in magic. Take them. Yep, take me and I'll do it. I still can't believe that my Genshin save is stuck on my PS4. No, don't fight the Rajang! You crazy? It's clearly a Rajang! Yeah, see? It did the Congo Bongo, and now you're on the ground. And now there's these horrible dogs. That's why you shouldn't go off on your own, Sigurd. Or is it Sighard? Everybody's attention. Where, where are the jackals? What are you? Okay, they didn't seem to notice me. Come on, all you over here.
I probably should have ate lunch. I just couldn't think of anything to have. Because, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I love a good apple and peanut butter, but there's only so many times you can eat that within the time frame before you get tired of it. I remember back when I used to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, there was a time where I had to stop eating them because I was just so sick of it. Granted, that takes, like, months or years to happen, but happen nonetheless. Oh my god, look his big cool axe. I wish I could have an axe as cool as you. Wait, did it fold up? Oh my god, it folds up. Is the Rajang still angry? No, I can beat it up. I beat it I beat up like five of them at once. There's no reason to be scared. I can take it. Okay, so I looked up the Summer Games event to see when it ends. Because I think, uh, unless Walker gets home, I'll just play till it ends. I feel that's fair. And it seems it just started something called Koch Prime Time. Whatever that means. Also, I'm not unmuting it because it's just going to play Sonic music and that's probably copyrighted. So I'm not even going to take the risk. Oh, now, no, shit, now we're talking. Games and Turtle Rock will be giving players a new look at the zombie multiplayer fun of Back for Blood. Hell yeah, right Left 4 Dead 3. Tease of a new boss and news on the beta coming Ooh, later. Ooh, I will play the hell out of the beta. I'm definitely buying this because Left 4 Dead is fucking great. the Molotov. Whoa. Whoa. That, that didn't look like a zombie. That looked like 
That looked like something out of Warhammer. It looked like a Tyranid of some kind. One of the, the things fuck? I'm most passionate about is getting you guys access to play more games at home. That's Last a year, lie. Steam and Xbox did incredible demo events around Summer Game Fest, and this year, Steam's Next Fest starts next Wednesday, and Xbox is back again to do an ID at Xbox demo event, which I'm announcing right now. It starts on Tuesday, and it's completely free. No it's badges Oh, it's the name of a location, the God's I'm script. Most okay. About in the lineup is Tunic could, from my fellow you? Canadian, Andrew Shouldice. Here he is to give you a little sneak preview of the brand new demo, which you can exclusively play on Xbox starting on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't get any news or anything on Back for Blood. So that's cool. Even though you told me you would. Wait, is this that tiny adorable fox game? Yes, it is. Six years ago. Been changing oh a lot my over god, the years, it's but, so uh, cute. Really oh, it's adorable. Oh my god, it's adorable. So in Tunic, oh, I love you, it. you start the game and you are a little fox that's washed up on a beach and you don't have a whole lot of context except for, I don't know, know what know, language uh, that was. Uh, a lust for adventure and you I'm not sure it wasn't real. And maybe you're going to find a stick and maybe if you venture a little bit further, maybe you're going to find a sword. And it's really about that sense of discovery about wondering what's around the next corner people have played the game at shows before but we wanted to put together a brand new it's it's like a tiny little zelda dungeon audience. but you're a tiny fox. so it's full of never before seen stuff a brand new dungeon a bunch of areas people haven't seen before oh my gosh so cute so excited about tunic and sable also uh is going to be one of yeah whatever all right let's get in here Tell me what you need. Give me that cutscene. Alright, so he's got a concussion. That was a lot of stuff that I just saw happen. Oh, wait. Is this, uh, uh, what is it, Vanenheim? No. It looks like it. But that was, uh, over the shoulder. This is a top-down. Did they make a spin-off of it already? No. I think they made a spin-off of that game already. Holy shit. Or is it Valheim? The new, the new build, the new build your base game. <sighs> yep. All right, time to return, I guess. Yes, please. Oh, that's cool. He's got a boat frozen in him. That's cool. That dude's just made of clouds. No, okay. So it, it just looks immensely similar to... Valheim. Probably because they're both Nordic themed. But no actual connection. Oh! Alright, do tell. To tell us more, let's turn it over to my friend Tim Willits from Sabre. Hi, Jeff. It's great to see you. That's a big iron Today, man. Today, we have some extended footage of the Evil Dead, the game. We are excited and Hellraiser. to show you. How much this. of that do you think is actually his, and how much do you think it was game. given to him Thank to put up as props? Hold 
lost, cyber friends. I'm Bruce Campbell. You know me as Ash Williams, the dude who saved the world from evil. I'm yeah. here to bring you the lowdown on the upcoming Evil Dead, the game. Yeah, chainsaw hand and the boomstick. Oh, fuck you yeah. You and your friends will team up as classic Evil Dead heroes to live the nightmare. You'll use savage finishing moves or tear evil a new one. Or, if you're not into the whole save the world thing, we have another option. Can you play as the... You can play as yeah. the Kandarian demon itself. But who would want to do that? You'd be oh, dead. So sick. <laughs> power possession in your arsenal, you'll scare those goody two-shoes to death. Literally, you can do that if you're a dick. Whether you choose the path of evil or righteousness, you'll be throwing down in places you've seen before. You'll collect pages of the Necronomicon, uncover Nobi's lost tapes, and track down other legendary artifacts. When you've grabbed enough, you'll use a spell to send the Kandarian son of a bitch back to the hellhole it came from. Oh man. I don't, I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but... Uh, when I was a kid, I was usually scared Soon you'll experience the horror by, like, yourself. horror movies and but stuff. Now, I'll leave you with this thought. Oh, I don't care for the yellow, but I do like no the helmet design more. Wore brown pants. But, um, one time on our little tiny TV VCR combo that we kept in our guest room, I was watching the sci-fi channel, and on came... Like, it came back from a commercial break, and it was the Evil Dead 2? Army of Darkness. And I was just watching it, and I was like, I'm gonna get so scared. And it was just seeing where he got thrown in the pit, which introduces us to the boomstick and the chainsaw. And, like, Evil Dead 2 has a lot of funny, like, comedy in it. But that is definitely not one of the moments. And I have got to say that okay, guys. I was just enthralled with this man who chainsawed a dude's head special. off Today, and blew him away so with a shotgun. Given the opportunity to share this next game. Like it was so fucking one of our cool. Most acclaimed developers and a previous game of the year winner at the Game Awards. I want to personally thank this developer for believing in my vision of Summer Game Fest as a new way to bring all oh, of us together go. for a cross-industry showcase and kick off the summer in the right way. Okay. So, without further ado, please sit back and enjoy yeah. this truly spectacular world premiere. It is finally time. Okay. You bet it better be good or you're hyping me up for nothing. Okay. Fuck, 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 shit. Huh? Huh? It has been zero days since news about Elden Ring. Yes. The Golden Order is broken to its core. Oh. They're different now. That was old footage. Whoa, 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 whoa! In search of the elder. Whoa! Is that a pot in the golden by the flame of ambition? Someone extinguish thy flame. Whoa, he's just horns. Oh my god. What? Literally the tree from Berserk. Artorius guts. Okay. 
Literally the Wolf Knight or Four Winged Dragon. I don't like that. Brandish the Elden Ring. Yo, that was a jump. For all of us. Oh my god, what the fuck? Is it next year yet? It actually happened. Elden Ring is coming, as you saw, January 21st, 2022, to next gen, current gen. It's so incredible. Everything. And I want to thank so much Miyazaki san and the team at From for sharing that. I Game need to get a Elden PS5. Game. Oh my god, I'm free, out of prison, all right. Uh, and that's going to do it for Summer Game Fest. I need to get a PS5. Thank you so much to all the developers who took part. I, for you and watching around the world. That's a good way to so end it. Summer Game Fest I'll say that. News all weekend with Netflix, Geek Week, and Prime Matter tomorrow. Ubisoft Forward on Saturday and Xbox and Bethesda on Sunday. Square Enix as well. Head to SummerGameFest.com for the full and complete schedule. And this is really just the kickoff to summer and a ton of other amazing events yes. that I'm fully supportive of and I'm very excited to see what they have in store for us as well. As for me, I'll see you again on August 25th for Gamescom. I'm very glad I decided to uh, I am so put this down in the corner and watch it while playing. I'm very glad I decided to do that. At the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles. More details I don't care if no one ever this watches summer. this. I'm very Thanks happy again, right now. Summer Game Fest. We will see you tomorrow for more. And stay tuned for the Day of the Devs with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine right now. Good night, everybody. Oh, yes. Oh, I am... I am very happy. I am very happy. Oh. But, uh, I guess that's where I'm going to call it for the day. So, um, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you also, uh, you didn't, didn't turn you off when I added the bottom right corner, the summer game stream, to see if anything interesting happened during it. I'm, I can't, I am so very glad I did. I need to get a PS5. I really do. I really need to get a PS5. Where the fuck would I put it? No, PS5s can be horse. No, it plays so much taller than the PS4. Fuck, where would I where would I put it? Shit. Balls. I need I need to get like an actual computer desk, L-shaped so I can put my computer stuff on there and then the PS5 can go where the PS4 is. Yeah, I need to do that. That will be a thing to do in the future. How am I going to afford a PS5? Fuck. Oh, well. Um, so, where was I? I got distracted by the thought of Elden Ring. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please tune in next time. If you did enjoy, uh, please follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. Both, neither. Up to you. Every little bit helps. 
but uh, YouTube is where all the streams are archived, so if there's something you're looking for and you can't find it, it will be there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please tune in next time. And as always, have a good rest of your day. And goodbye.